when you first reached out to me, you know, I could definitely sense the passion that, you know, I would hope that by now people see that I'm as authentically passionate about my field as possible. I mean, what nut in his right mind decides to invest all his own money, you know, into taking on a venture to elevate the field into something that's never been before. You know, I, I remember, you know, going through the ranks, going through the training, um, the 68 alpha, uh, biomed school, um, at Shepard air force base a long time ago. And unfortunately it's been a lot longer than I'd care to admit. And all I could think about is while I was going through and, you know, learning everything I could running missions, couple deployments here and there. And I got out, got into the civilian world. Um, we don't have the same kind of swagger that other, you know, professions do. Like one of the biggest things that annoyed me was that so many people, even in my own family, and this, I'm sure many biomeds can attest to this as well. They don't really understand, you know, the medical field outside of what nurses and doctors bring to the table. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's, it's kind of interesting because you, Amy's coined the phrases, we are, uh, we are medical device doctors. We have to, most of the time, go into a facility, have no clue whatsoever what's going on and automatically try to decipher and solve, you know, whatever might be wrong with any kind of medical device you can imagine, patient monitoring, hospital beds, radiology, anesthesia, ultrasound, sterilization, the, the breadth and scope that we have to be, you know, readily available for and knowledgeable about is sometimes, you know, over our heads, but that's, what's so fantastic about this field is, you don't have to know everything, but one way or another, you're damn sure going to find out, uh, whether through a technical manual, technical support, um, you know, asking a fellow colleague, uh, 